them from the south. Visual friendly contact to Mark. Tally the target. That one's on left. Activity continue. What's a lifeline a Cobra gunship? Easy questions like a roller coaster without limits. It's awesome. Okay, right now we're just doing a thorough pre-flight of the aircraft before we go take off. Some loose? Got some loose, yeah. You have to do it every single time you fly, without a doubt. I'll take those up. Yeah, no problem. Even if you're going to sit on the deck and just turn the rotors just to check the engine, you have to do a pre-flight. Tell you, when we put the helmet on, it's game on, it's game day. Every decision is a critical decision. If you do the wrong thing, come down the wrong way, someone could get hurt. From the maintainer that turns the screw to the guy who fixes our radios to the pilots who fly it. It's internal to the flight. You're a part of that big green machine. You're making a difference. Training is essential. You're on the fly, boom, you get called. You go out, you don't have time to look in your tactical manual. You have to know it. And you have to be able to flip those switches and shoot that gun and get that missile off the rail. Clear hot, clear hot, fiber. To save someone's life that's on the ground. Fiber 32 and 350. Visual friendly contact the Martelli target. Fiber 32 is level. Train like you fight. When we come out here, we're not looking to water things down. Air crew have to fly in different environments. We do it daytime, we do it at night. Doesn't matter if it's raining, doesn't matter if it's overcast, we're still gonna fly the mission. And Roger that, you're approved uh, to the BP. For the folks on the ground, they need to be able to operate with the wind blowing as to see what we have around us. We need to come out here and actually bring it on, get as much as we can get, and continue with the training. Being a pilot is definitely physically demanding. You get mentally fatigued. If your body gets very tired as well, then now you have two things working against you. You know, I'm really into the weights and the lifting, and I used to want to be a bodybuilder when I was a kid. But eh, it's okay, I'm a Marine. <laughs> I was in the hospital, and there was another Marine there. He said he was in Najah. Talked about being bombarded with mortars, and there was a Cobra came in, shot a missile. We paired it up, and it was one of the missions that I went on. He was like, wow, you probably saved my life. That's our sole purpose and mission in life, support for the Marines on the ground. It really gives you a reality check when you're over there and you're not going out to the restaurants or to the clubs or with your friends and you think about the things that you value in life. And Viper 32. Being the first African-American female combat pilot, that means something because I know it meant something to me when I saw my first black female pilot. Hopefully my nieces and nephews can look up to me and aspire to do something positive with their lives. At the end of the day, when I'm laying in that bed and it's dark and just me and my mind and what's going through it, I want to be happy with what I've done. I think it's the genes. My mom, my dad, my grandparents, my family. Everyone wants to excel, everyone wants to do more. Who wants to be average? Do what average people do, you'll have what average people have. I don't want to be average, do you?